Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Y'all, I just did this hair review on Sumber Hair. It is gorgeous. Look at the back. It's so pretty. I was just telling y'all that I needed a new curly unit. So I am going to roll the footage back so you guys can see the unboxing and then I'll meet you back here. Now, first of all, I didn't use the tape. The tape is an option for you if you don't want to use the glues or the sprays. But me personally, I've had a bad reaction to the tape, so I don't like to use the tape. Y'all know that I use the Even Lace Spray, and this is the Extreme Hold that I've been loving lately because I told y'all I've been trying to get away from the glues or the tapes. I just want something simple. So this is what I like to use. So let's go ahead and take off the band. And this is the lace. Look how good it looks. I'm gonna just correct my makeup a little bit up here. But the lace melted very well. And again, this is just with the spray, no glue. Look how good. So good. I did put um, some makeup on my lace in the inside of the lace and then i like to add a little bit on the outside just for that flawless look we love that and i'm also going to just spray some setting spray for the powder that i just added so it doesn't look too dry now i was just telling y'all last week that i needed a new curly unit so i'm so happy to have this one and the curls are gorgeous look at this y'all know i love my curly hair and i know you guys love when i wear my curly hair so i love to wear curly units during the hotter months just because it's nice and flowy and cute now i like to do my the flip over method um, but you can wear it parted down the middle i had to make another part because it didn't match up well so I ended up parting it again. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all a few different ways that you can wear this unit. Well, this is how the lace looks on the part. They, they did bleach the knots. So that's done for you. So if you want to wear like a middle part, you can do it like this. Um, a ponytail, which I like. Half up, half down. Right, this lace is just so good. Look how good that look. Look at that. So good. But if you want to do a half up, let's see how much I got on this other side. Half up, half down, which is so cute. So I'm just going to pull some of the curls out so y'all can see how it looks once you pull the curls out. I love this. This is so cute. This, this is 
so cute. And then, like I said, I will pull some of the curls out just because that's the way that I like to wear mine. So the curls are just kind of loose. Damn, look how cute. And this is how it looks in the back. Really pretty. I love the density on this. And also, this unit can be adjusted. I have a lot of people that ask me questions about the cap sizing. You can adjust this, I think, from 19 up to 22 inches. It has a few different adjustable clips. You can barely feel it. It's very comfortable. The unit is very comfortable. Let me show you. If you wanted to use the tape throughout and then wear it in like one high pony, this is how it would look in the back. But like I said, this part would be down because it'll be taped down and it'll look like this. Very, very comfortable unit. I love it. But I'm pretty sure that I'll be wearing mine flip over just because I like that grown sexy look. <laughs> so yeah really pretty effortless look it's very easy to wear these units because you don't have to do too much so yeah if you guys are interested in this unit i have all the information in the description box today is tuesday i just got in from the gym i had to come home really quick to grab my wallet because i need to go to the store to get something for dinner um today is a one pan dish meal okay because my son has a track meet today um so i need to start dinner now and then i have a hair review i need to do um i have to go to the grocery store i have to go to the post office so i have like a busy day today. all right y'all back home i ended up going to Publix and Walmart. So I'm going to unbox this stuff and I'll show you guys what I got. Cantaloupe, watermelon, panini noodles, spaghetti sauce, ground turkey, green, cream cheese, and regular cheese. Now, I plan on making some greens that I can kind of eat on throughout the week with like some salmon or chicken or whatever um and I usually get the smoked turkey next y'all have seen me make my greens several times and I grabbed the wrong thing I grabbed the pork neck bones which I have to take these back um I just was looking up here where it says smoked neck bones I missed this part so I gotta take this back because I don't want my greens to have a whole bunch of hog in it <laughs> so I gotta take that back but y'all I was in Walmart and I found these really pretty little plates I just like this color it's so pretty like a pretty little nude like taupey color so cute so I got two of the small ones and then I got two of like the regular dinner plate size. I just thought that these were so cute. They had the matte black ones too, but they were all scraped up, so I didn't get those. So yeah, I like those little dishes. I'm gonna put a little picture up on Instagram and I'll leave the link to these if you guys are interested. Y'all don't sleep on Walmart dishes because they do have some cute dishes in there. Um, you just have to kind of look around but I am doing baked ziti. I probably haven't did that. Have I did that this month? I don't think I did that this month. I think I did like the chicken pasta, but not the baked ziti. I haven't did that one since last month. But I do these dishes probably like once a month. Because first of all, when you cook a lot, you kind of run out of recipes. And when you have a teenager, they're a little picky. He like what he likes. So 
because I have such a busy day today, I'm going to just do something quick. I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started now. Um, we like our pasta to be pretty meaty, and I always get ground turkey instead of ground beef. Um, this one is 93% lean and 7% fat. And then I also like to get a few different cans of spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it, because we also like the pasta to be pretty saucy. So where did I put the receipt for Publix? Because I have to return these daggone neck bones. I did try to find some in Walmart, but they didn't have any. I went to Publix because I needed the cantaloupe. Y'all know I do not buy pre-cut fruit from Walmart. Never looks good. <laughs> so yeah. You put this stuff up and I gotta fix me something to eat because I'm hungry. y'all so remember when i told you guys that i gave kalila the louis vuitton pocket agenda this one is really small look look at this one compared to the large look at it it's so cute 
So I gave this to Kalila. How long ago? How long ago has it been? How long? A couple of months. Couple. Stop. How long have you had this? Maybe a year. How? She's had it. She's had it longer than a year. Cause I bought this a long time ago. Some no. of y'all remember. Y'all chime in if y'all remember when I bought this from Fashion File. Y'all. She's had it, and look, there's no paper in it because she doesn't use it. Okay, so I told her that I'm going to just borrow this back. No, 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 no. I will get the paper. Until she uses it. Hey, y'all, I just got some Amazon packages in. Y'all remember when I was telling y'all that I had problems with my packages being delivered? Well, I had them to refund me on this. This is just like the foot scraper or whatever you want to call it. And then it comes with like the little buffers. And then I like to use this tea tree oil for, uh, it's a foot cream. And it said it was delivered, but it was never at my door. Well, they just delivered it today. So I guess I got this for free. And then I ordered some more of the face cloths. Let you have it. Get out of here. I ordered some more of the clean skin towels. I just went ahead and ordered three packs because I run through these. So, yeah, they just came in because I am all out. I've been using regular paper towels. So, I love them. <laughs> so we are at the track meet. Today is Wednesday. I just left the gym, but now I'm headed to the beach. I decided I want to just take a little scroll on the beach because it is a very beautiful day. It's 64 degrees. The sun is shining. It's a nice little cool breeze. So I'm going to go walk on the beach. And then once I leave the beach, um, I'm going to go to that cafe that me and Kalila went to last week because it's like right there. So I'll probably go there and have me a little coffee and then head home and edit this vlog that you guys are watching right now. I know my skin probably looks a little white. Um, I have on some of the Kale's sunscreen and it did leave like a little white cast on my face. I'm all out of my Shiseido so I need to go grab some of that because it leaves like a little white cast on my face and I don't like that. So yeah. Um, I'll pick y'all back up once we get to the beach. Okay, out here. I'm just gonna walk for like 30 minutes. It's 8.49. I'm gonna walk for like 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go get some coffee. I saw some dude pull up, so I gotta wash my back or let my pimples spray. Yeah, you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that. Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right. Cigarette. No, I never smoke, but my heart is broke. Explosive. Stressing for that old thing back, back, back. That initial love. All the loose bumps. Those factors in my gut. Okay, y'all, so it is much later, and this is what I'm wearing, these black trousers. This oversized vest is from H&M, and then I have a little bit of cleavage just to give the feminine vibes a little bit, because this is looking straight from the men's department. But um, this is the vibe for today. Me and my husband are on our way to this new restaurant here in Jacksonville. It's called um, Canaluna or something like that. 
Um, they said that it's like a lounge. So we're just gonna go catch a vibe really quick. I've seen like a few cocktails on their page. I haven't really seen that much food. So I will be vlogging. Y'all know usually I don't vlog date night, but because it's a new restaurant, I will show y'all a little something, something. So let me see, cause I don't know if y'all saw my outfit good enough. Okay. Okay, this, this is the way that it drops. It drops right here. So I put this bra on and like I said, I'm gonna just keep it open like this, just to give a little sexy. And then the rest is completely covered. I'm wearing these little heart earrings. I think I got these from Shein and then these are my Celine dupes from Amazon. I'll link them in the description box below. I'm gonna wear my Van Cleef bracelet. I haven't worn it in so long because I don't have anybody here to help me clip it. And then I'm just gonna wear my little Fendi. And having this little chain right here makes me wanna buy like one of those, have it hanging like in the middle. And sometimes it goes down to your stomach. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna try to find me one of those little cute little body chains because this is definitely giving me that vibe and I don't own any of those. So I think I might go look for one today. And I'm gonna wear my um, Steve Madden flats, my little Hermes dupes. And that is the look for today. Y'all probably can't see the shoes anyway because my pants are so long. This is the fragrance of the day. And then I'm also going to wear my Louis Vuitton bracelet because I haven't worn this stuff in so long. <laughs> so my battery is getting ready to die. I'll see y'all at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What you give it, honey? How it looks, I give it a nine. The ambiance, you give it a nine. The ambiance a nine. Mm -hmm. I just say the appearance. It looks, it's a nice looking place. Uh -huh. But the food, me personally, I promise to you, I won't go back for the food at all. But I give them a boy. <laughs> you talking about boy? The lamb chop. It the was, lamb chop it was, was a no for It you. was all right. It was fried, it you know was what I'm saying? Fried, so yeah. it wasn't like how I, I like my lamb chops. So it was fried, basically. It was like a pork chop. Yeah. But it was thin, it was like a thin pork chop, but it was lamb. So it was all right, if you you know what I'm saying? If that's what you was expecting. But we wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. So, but for real, for, for the place that looked as nice as it looked, I would I expect it way better. Yeah. So I would give that place a five. Or uh, I'd give them a five to be nice on the food. The, um, what is it called? The dessert? The dessert was good. Yeah, the dessert was good. And the lamb chops was decent. It wasn't terrible, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't go back. I promise to you. Yeah. Well, I'll go back. I would we'll go, go back. back. We'll go back. Yeah, I would go back, but just for like a nice little vibe, like just for drinks. Um, on the weekend, they said that they have DJs. They have like a DJ that come in like at 1030 and they stay open to like 12. So for that, like it's a cute little girls night situation, date night if you're going for drinks. But I wouldn't recommend the food. And I would say like the place is gorgeous. Yeah. I don't even know if I was able to capture how pretty it was because... I was blown away. They said the, 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 the appearance of the place uh, makes the expectation for the food to yes. be way better. Yes. Like, and if you have a place that look that nice, you need to at least have like a good steak, a good chicken, and a good pork dish for the pork eaters. Um, they did have like a tomahawk was $96. I did show y'all the menu. Um, but it's like Mediterranean type food. So you can't order any size. Everything is a la carte. A la carte. So 
The truffle fries was trash. Yeah, Tony had truffle fries. Trash. Um, I had like a house salad, which was like a med Mediterranean salad. It had like different fruits. It was pretty good. It had a nice little dressing with it. So it was kind of sweet, savory type thing. Um, the prawns that I had came on like a bed of lettuce. It was just okay. One of the shrimp were overcooked. We also tried the salmon. No flavor with the shrimps. Yeah, the shrimp didn't have any flavor. The salmon was undercooked, but y'all know, usually at a restaurant, you have to ask for them to, you have to ask them to cook it at a different temperature. It was really undercooked. Yeah, it was really undercooked, and I can't eat that. But they just, I sent it back, and they brought it back out to me um, medium well. But we just got it to go. But, um. I would go back because I love the ambiance. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's cool. And, and I do want to see, yeah, yeah I do want to yeah. see how the vibe is with the DJ. And I think they'll get better, though. They'll get yeah. better, like, after, like, a few weeks or maybe a few months. It's going to get better, of course. Yeah. Once people, they get feedback on the menu, feedback on just, like, the presentation of the food. Yeah. And stuff like that. It'll get better. I mean, but. for the most part, the presentation wasn't bad. The fries could have came out a little spiffy, nicer. Spiffy. Um, the lamb chops, the presentation was not there. And like I said, even on their Instagram, you don't see any of the food. You just mostly see, like, drinks and stuff like that. So, I would go back. I'm, I'm going to give them a second try because I just love the way that the place looks. It looks so pretty. If I, drink, so I, if I drink, I go back. Yeah, y'all know Tony don't drink, so. Like, the bar area, like, all that stuff looks good. Like, if you was ordering at the bar, you can sit at the bar, chill. Yeah, just sit at the bar, Yeah, chill. that's cool. It, it looks smooth. It's a nice-looking place. Yeah. I'll give them that, like. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's a nice-looking Whoever place. was in charge of that, they did a really good job. The like, food, a really good catch job. Up, that's all. Yeah, but the, the menu, for sure. Like, they should have had, like, some people come in and try the menu out. Well, I'm pretty sure they did, and everybody just basically said, oh, yeah, we like this. Yeah, but I think they still just still testing because it's a soft opening. So they yeah, probably, it's a soft opening still. still. Testing so it was only maybe like, it probably was like maybe eight tables. They were 20% full, basically. Yeah. About 20%. Yeah, so because right now they're doing reservations only. Y'all might be able to get in if y'all in Jacksonville. Um, but y'all know how I do. I usually like to pretty much order everything right now i'm not eating any red meat so we didn't order everything we didn't order like any steak or anything like that um the menu is really small right it had maybe like how many dishes it's small say? it's small because you know sometimes you can turn to like another side and stuff like that but no it's, it's small yeah it's small they open at five o'clock and i think they stay open until midnight or maybe 10 o'clock i'm not too sure um during the week but on the weekend they stay open until 12 so they got a dj for an hour yeah they have a dj for an hour so we'll come back to get the vibes for that but yeah we're headed home now so i'll see y'all in the morning tell y'all about this little table light because I know I'm going to get some questions so I went ahead and purchased a black one now I like this one because you can change the colors on it so this is the blue I really like this vibe um, it has the red let me turn off my light for them so y'all can really see it I think this one, oh, this is where it changes colors. Let me turn it up because you can control how bright you want it. Right now it's on like the multicolor setting. But, um, see it does this, which I'll never do that. Um, it has the white. This is 
like a um, yellow light. This is like a bright white, the red, green, blue. It does look purple too, but I love this light. I will have the link in the description box. Hey y'all, today is Thursday. Look at this hair. So pretty. I love it. No, it's not for sale. This hair is so pretty. And I told y'all I needed a curly unit, so this is mine, okay? So, so cute. Y'all might see the hair review in this clip. I'm not too sure. But like I said, today is Thursday. I am getting ready to knock out another hair review. I have two more that I need to do. Same unit, different colors. But I did go to Sephora yesterday and I picked up three more of the masks. So usually I can find these in TJ Maxx, but they haven't had them in there. So I got the yellow one. So now I have all of the colors. I've told you guys about these masks before. They feel so nice, I'm telling y'all. If y'all haven't tried them, try them, okay? And thank me later. These are like so relaxing. You just put these on. And like I said in my Sephora haul, you can have these on up to 40 minutes, I think. So you can have you some wine, girl, watch you some movies. And girl, chill, okay? But I'm so happy to have these. I'm going to do probably, which one? Each one is for something different. Okay, so this one is with Soothing Alantoin right here. This one is with Moisturizing Hyaluronic Acid. This one is with Brightening Vitamin C. And then this one is with Firming Collagen. So I love, love, love these. These are the half and half mask so you have half for the top and half for the bottom girl i love these things okay i've showed these on my channel i've been using these for years if you guys have been following me y'all know i am a mask girl i really don't see a big difference in using the mask i just like the vibes and i like how comfortable they are but i love these i'm so happy that i got my hands on some more because like I said, I usually get mine from TJ Maxx and I haven't found any in a while because they're $10 in Sephora and I think in TJ Maxx you can get them for like seven. So y'all look out for these if you go to TJ Maxx. I'm getting ready to take this wig off and do another one and y'all this is strictly the spray. Like, look at this. This is the spray only. I didn't use any glue. Y'all just don't know like how happy that makes me because this glue just, it can get so messy. Now, once the summer comes around and it gets extremely hot, I might have to go back to the glue because I'm not too sure if this will hold when I sweat. Um, but I've been buying different sprays and mousses and different stuff like that just to try other things. Um, I can also put this up in one ponytail, y'all. Look at this. This is so cute. But I would have to use the tape. This unit did come with the tape, so I would have to put some of the tape back here to glue it down, but, or to tape it down on the sides, but I can do one ponytail. I love this unit. But anyway, um, I've been using, I bought this lace adhesive off of Instagram. The girl's website is called The Frontal Queen or her Instagram. Y'all can look her up. And I've been trying this. I actually spray a little bit of that um, at the end. Like I'll spray this first to lay the lace down. And then I use this to spray on top and it kind of, it's supposed to make the lace disappear. And yeah, let me show you the other stuff that I got. And then these are the newest pickups. So it's the same as the spray, but it's the mousse. And I got these recommendations from my girl, Laricia. I think that's how you say it, Laricia. 
Girl, she kills the laces, okay? I follow her here on YouTube. I haven't watched her videos on YouTube in a while because I follow her on TikTok too and she, girl, she be giving us all the goods. If y'all don't know who she is, she is so good with her units. I love the way she do them and she recommended the mousse. And I tried to put some on the other day and it did hold it, but it takes a while to me. So, yeah, the mousse. Um, I've only used it once and then she also recommended another mousse and this is the got to be mousse. So y'all let me know if you guys have tried any of these because like I said, I just played around with it. I didn't do anything too crazy, but she had it on and I want to say she, had, she just put hers like once her wig was laid down, she put it around the edges. Um, I gotta go back and watch that video, but I know she recommended these, so I went and bought them, okay? Because I'm trying to perfect the no glue units. Like, I don't want to have to deal with any glue, so I'm trying to find, like, the best hold that I can. And, like, with this unit, I can wet it and it'll come loose, um, but it's not a big hassle. Like, I don't have to try to get the glue off and just do all the things. I could just pour this right off, hit it with some alcohol and put on the next unit so that's what i love i need glueless like seriously so y'all let me know if you guys have tried these i bought mine from amazon i'll link them in the description box below but this has been a lifesaver for me the spray i'm almost out but i did buy two bottles of this the last time i went to the hair store because i've been just using it so much and then this and this is pretty good. Like, I would buy this again. I would buy this again. And this is black on. So, y'all go check her out on Instagram. Let her know I sent you. She don't know who I am. But, girl, just let her know anyway, okay? As soon as I sat down, my light on my camera died. This one right here. I, I know you like. I just got some Amazon packages in. So, um, there's some shades. I was on Instagram the other night and I saw this picture right here and my mouth hit the floor. So of course I went on the hunt and they are Loewe's. So I found what popped up as a dupe. And I might as well take this off because I am gonna keep these. And these are the dupes that I found. Now the only thing about these, because they look oversized on her face, and these are like a smaller version because they're not that um, wide, but I love these. These are like so, so cute. And she just looks so good. And I'm like, it, they have like the little wavy little thing on the side, but then they're bigger at the bottom. Um, but these are so cute. I love these so much. Really cute. And I got them in two different colors because I wasn't sure, you know, which one I would like better. So that is the brown tint, which is more my speed. And then they also had this black tint person that is looking like um a mirror tint um but i think on the website it said smoked but these are cute too but i don't need both but these are cute too but i like the other ones better so like i said i bought both of them just to see which one i would like i wish they were a little more oversized because i am an oversized sunglass type of girl um but i really like these and they don't look cheap so i like that really cute what y'all think i would probably pay the money for the real ones because that's just how much i like them um, I'm not too sure like how new they are and if I'll be able to find a closer dupe, but these are really, really nice. I really like them. And then I was watching some Amazon 
um, what was the name of the videos? It was like Amazon dupes or something like that had popped up. This girl had some Tom Ford dupes and I ordered two pair. The first pair that I ordered that she showed on her video, they were supposed to be here today, girl, they're not here. And I also ordered a second pair because when I was just scrolling down to see the different colors and I'm like, I don't have anything like that. These are fun. So they're like gray and then they have the mirrored lenses. So this is how they look. And these are really cute. Now these are Tom Ford dudes, but they do kind of give me like the Loewe vibe. But these are so cute. I don't have anything like this. Well, I do have my aviators. They're silver and they have the mirror tint. Let me show y'all. They're really old. For a minute, I thought I didn't have them anymore. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, I was about to say, you know what? I don't have them anymore. So these right here. Oh, they so dusty too. I have not worn these in so long. These right here mirrored tint i used to love these i used to wear these things out these things are like maybe like five years old but they're kind of similar just the frames are different i used to love my aviators i have the gold pair too really cute and I have the black and gold. <laughs> and then I have these clear ones. So cute. I have so many sunglasses out. But yes, so the other pair that I've got, let's see when they'll be here. Okay, girl, they were supposed to be here today but they were not in my packages. Let me look on Amazon real quick and see. What? Okay, it's saying that they won't be here until March 10th, but I'll show y'all how they look. Let me just make sure. This is how they look. So, I'm sad that they're not here, but like I said, I grabbed these. And I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep, well, I think I will keep these, cause like I said, I don't have anything like these. And these are so cute and so fun. And they'll look so cute with my, my bob. They yeah, look really cute. I like these a lot. What y'all think? Cute. Yes, but I really like these. I Like I said, I just wish that they were oversized. But I do like them. So I'm not going to keep this pair. I'm going to go ahead and return this pair because I don't need both of them. So like I said, I just ordered them just to see which one I would like better. And... I should have known I was going to like these better because I love a nice brown tint. I just really like the way that it looks on my skin complexion. Y'all should already know. These are my little other dupes. They got fingerprints all over. I need to clean this stuff. If you guys can find a dupe for a larger pair, like an oversized pair, please let me know because I love these glasses. I love the shape. They're so cute. I'm going to pull my hair down. So I can get into the whole vibe. Get into the full vibe of the thing. These are cute. We like this. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I did not realize I look so wild. Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday. There's no sun out, so the footage might look a little cray cray. But I just left 
Trader Joe's. And y'all know my favorite juice bar is right next to Trader Joe's. So I had to stop by and get a juice. And now I'm getting ready to go to the post office and the bank. Well, the bank first and then the post office. But I got a very chia parfait today. Because I've been drinking lemon chia water in the morning. And so I decided to try this high in fiber. And of course I got my greenie. Hey y'all. Back home from my morning errands. I don't know what's been going on with this eyebrow right here. It's been giving me a hard time for the last few days. And I don't know why. But um, I'm getting ready to go pick up my son from school. And after I pick him up, we are going on a little lunch date that he's been talking about all week. He wanted to make sure that I did not forget, which I didn't. Um, but we're going to this all you can eat sushi spot. I've heard about it from the pages that I follow on Instagram. But see, I've always thought that it was like a buffet style all you can eat. And I don't do those. Because it's just like the sushi not that good when it's like a buffet sushi type situation. But my son and his girlfriend went a few weeks ago. And he was telling me how good the sushi was. Like everything is made to order. And it's all you can eat. And it's only like $20. So he wanted to go back. So we're going today. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with us. Um, he did say that the sushi was made to order and then whatever, like say like if you don't eat all of the sushi, they charge you. So each piece Each piece that you don't eat is 50 cents or something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm calling and I am, I'm starving. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do too much. I just wanna do my brows and um, I'll probably put on a little bit of foundation. I don't know what it is about this brow right here, but this week the brow has been getting on my nerve. This side. Right here. Let's see if I can fix it today. This girl, this brow been looking crazy all week. That look pretty good. Y'all, it's about time for me to get another tripod because this tripod that I have y'all on is on its last leg, literally. So I gotta order another tripod, which I should have did last night. And yes, this is the same wig that I did a review on in this video. I just have it in a ponytail and I brushed the curls out just using um, like a little paddle brush.
I'm almost there, yeah. Y'all, the um, Gucci lip balm that I bought, I don't know if I like that. Now, when I tried it in the store, I thought I liked it. But I tried it last night and it has like, I don't know if that's some type of exfoliant, like it feels kind of gritty on your lips. I don't really like that. So I don't know if it's supposed to be used like as a lip scrub. I have to look it up because I don't really like the way that that feels. I was thinking about taking it back. But this, I like. I'm gonna put some of this on today. I like how thick it is. The lip plumper. It's so cute. Alright, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? today hair is somber hair the link is in the description box below i have on my sports bra i need to go put on a shirt <laughs> and i'm gonna throw on some sweats because like i said we're just going to have some sushi it's raining outside ugly day just me and my son we just chilling so i will pick you guys back up at the restaurant all right y'all so this is the menu and then you take this sheet, you write down whatever you want to order, and then they'll bring it. So everything is made to order. Alright y'all, look what I just got in the mail. This is my very first time ordering from Cloth and Paper. I finally got my rings in my agenda. I had gold at first. That one was too small anyway. One of you girls told me the size that I need, which is A5. So thank you so much. This is pre-loved. It had these little spots on it. And I've had this for a while. Um, I think this might be like white out or something like that. I just haven't took the time to clean it off but i might do that today but yeah i got these rose gold rings from amazon and then tony had to poke like some little holes through the first layer and he put these on for me but you can like swap them out and i found that out by watching some youtube videos so shout out to the girlies that use their agendas and show us all the tips and tricks so let me show y'all what i got i started off small because this is my first time i'm new to the agenda world i usually use like different little notepads and stuff like that so as far as like the agenda world i'm new to it so y'all know once i get it all set up cute and girly we'll do that together but i'll show you guys what i picked up and i also wanted to make sure that i got the right size paper which like i said one of you told me a5 which is what i thought i ordered the first time and the paper was too small so i sent it back and i got like a a7 and that one was entirely too small so let's open this up i don't know if i showed y'all but somebody on instagram 
wanted to send me some of their jerk crawfish boil. Thank you for sending this to me. I already thanked them on Instagram though. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this box. comes in this little dust bag right here, which is so cute. There is luxury in simplicity. Let's keep in touch, all of their information. All right. And yes, A5 is the right size. So now I'm gonna go ham on the website. <laughs> So I got that, some paper, and then I thought that these little circle brown sticky notes were really cute. This is in the color Macchiato. They're little matte sheets, it's 50 in a pack. Um, I got some time block sticker samples, and this is in the color Linen. There's 12 of these. And that is it. But I'm getting ready to go on the website right now and order some more stuff. Because like I said, I just wanted to order the sheets at least so I could see if it was the right size. Let's put this in. And I do know that you could get bigger rings to make your agenda a little thicker. Um, so... This is for like my monthly budgeting and stuff like that. So once I get the other paper, I think I'm going to just gonna have enough for the month instead of just keeping this out for the year. Um, I'm gonna just take out a few pages for the month and then I'm gonna fill this up with some different things too. Non-essential spending. Money is only a tool. It will take you wherever you wish, but it will not replace you as the driver. So yeah, reflect the month. I like this. So yeah, we have those. This little sheet right here just tells you how to use it like for budgeting and financial tips and things like that. So I thought this was really cool. Um, but like I said, I'm going to just have enough for the month. Um, because I think this can kind of get you throughout the year and I don't want a full section for finances and my spending and stuff like that so I'm gonna go on the website right now and find some more goodies if you guys would be interested in seeing like a agenda set up y'all let me know um, I'm gonna also do one for the smaller one my little agenda that my sister wasn't using i'm trying to teach her how not to be wasteful because like i said i gave her that agenda so long ago and she just never used it i think she just liked the idea of having it but she never used it and so i'm gonna just keep it here <laughs> until she decides to use it which will probably be never um, but I'm excited about this. So, like I said, I'm going to figure out a way that I can divide this up and then put other things because I see some different pages that I don't see in the front. So, I got to make sure I have like, let me show y'all this. Some pages have like a saving tracker goals and then it has like about every month and then the starting balance and then the ending balance. So I'm gonna see how I can break all of this up um, and kind of make it like a month to month type situation. So I'm gonna go on the website right now and find some more things. watching this girl and I like this size right here I think this is the medium I think but I like that one it's so cute I wish mine had the little latch my pocket one has it but not my bigger one but she also got her 
inserts and things from cloth and paper so i like to just watch these videos just to get an idea of you know what they're using them for and what will make more sense for me so i just watch a few different ones because everybody uses them for different reasons so she has this one that she carries around but i watch another girl she uses this one at home and then she had the smaller one for when she carry in her purse i just like to watch these videos you know just to see the setups that they have and see what i would like so that's what i'm doing right now just getting a little inspiration from the girlies Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap today's video up. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at IamShreekB. Y'all better follow me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye!